Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Jingle bells, Batman sells, but the PC version crapped the bed. This week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle 148, a show in which the writers of InsertCoin.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F.J. Time, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve? Uh, I played uh, a lot of the Hearthstone uh, Tavern Bra, mm-hmm. Bra um, which is uh, a thing that they're doing now. Um, essentially, what, what it is, is you get like a week to mm-hmm. play a scenario. Um, and this last one was two kings or two bosses of, of the mountain of Blackrock were uh, fighting for control. Hmm. And every time you went in, it was random as to which boss you got to control. That's kind of cool. Um, and then a- after so many wins, you unlocked like a deck, uh, a deck of cards. Um, but so. it was exact. Um, Monday morning, while I was waiting for the bus, I was playing a game, and it was like, oh, there's uh, 20 minutes left. I'm like, oh, that's plenty of time for me to play a game. <laughs> and then I finished that game, and it was counting down the seconds. Jeez. I was like, all right, so you guys mean it when you say you have this amount of time. <laughs> Good to know. Um, but, yeah, that's all I really accomplished. I mean, I played I played a bunch of games, um, but it, that was the only note for the month. Cool. Sir, what did you achieve this week? You got me at the worst time. Um, <laughs> hi. Hello! I uh, actually got a lot of time in on Bioshock uh, Infinite, for instance. Yay! Yay! Um, and uh, a little bit of, a little bit of other random stuff. Um, just really kind of getting getting back into the full... Oh, I, I played a lot of indie stuff on my Steam account that I never knew I owned uh, from Humble Bones and stuff. Just kind of installing stuff, checking it out. You know, smaller things that don't take up much on my MacBook. Um, and playing a little bit with Steam streaming because uh, I got this powerful computer down here that sits dormant for most of the week. And I'm trying to figure out how I can use it and not affect the recordings that we do here on Tuesday nights. So, cool. so there's that. Gee, Sword, if you only had somebody that, that does stuff like this, what streaming? No, yeah. Steam streaming, yeah. so I can play yeah. PC games on my Mac upstairs. Oh, yeah. never mind that. <laughs> I thought you meant video streaming. Right, well, speaking, no. speaking of, Riz, what did you achieve this week? Uh, so, if, if you happen to follow me on Riz Plays Games, you know I played a little bit of uh, FIFA 15, and also a little bit of uh, the the fun, the fun, the fun Tales from the Borderlands. I can't, I can't stress this enough, Bobby. You, you're a big Borderlands fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I have to get that one. I never. You, you will enjoy this. Cool. Uh, a lot of old faces make an appearance. Shade. Um, it scares me. It scares me a lot. Uh, but other than that, uh, cats. Lots of, ca- lots of cats. Mm-hmm. As, as we all have been. <laughs> I, lots, lots of cats. I just checked my cats. <laughs> my phone's over there. I can't check cats right now. All right. Um, I achieved this week. Uh, I played... A new game on Xbox One called it was the free game of the week uh, or the month called um, Massive Chalice. Uh, that's pretty fun. Um, didn't really do much else video game related because uh, all hell broke loose in my house this weekend. Oh. I thought I was going to have a relaxing weekend to play video games, but I played one video game. <laughs> and that was it. But what else? All right, Chuck, you want to take us around the net? It's now time for your favorite segment every week on this show. Video game things from around the internet. No, 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 no. Uh, so first up, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna murder this name. Kizjetil um, <laughs> Norden. That part's easy. Yeah, Norden. Um, Norden. 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 Nordy, Nordy. Nordy. <laughs> six years crocheting World One of Super Mario Brothers three. That dude deserves you yeah. know. It's a giant blanket. And the, the funniest thing I took away from this article is that uh, he lost a week or more, a week and a half, I think, mm-hmm. uh, because the color blue he used 
was too purple. So, oh, he had to, so he had to so he had to take it all apart to redo that part. Oh, um, and so it took him about a week, a week and a half. Uh, so yeah, six years for a full size uh, crochet blanket, and it looks amazing. So, yeah, it does. I, I was like really jealous of it. Yeah, um, well, I mean, kind of want to find out where he lives and steals it, steal it. But <laughs> he probably has a guard dog. Um, he probably has a piranha plant. Yeah. <laughs> Bull uh, Bill is just shooting at you. What's that? Bull Bill is just shooting at you. <laughs> yeah, he has one on his front door. <laughs> uh, next up, next up, the uh, San Diego Zoo teamed with Mashable to create a real-life Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, actually, Elvis the Hedgehog, but you get the point. Uh, and it's a 51-second <laughs> video, 51-second long video of uh, the San Diego Zoo's hedgehog running around a, uh, a custom-made. Uh, Sonic course um, he's, with he's, uh, with CGI rings. Is he um, as fast as Sonic? No, he is not. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is he is slow as hell. Um, um, uh, I'm I'm just cracking up because Chachi from from your from your past uh, <laughs> yes from your past uh, video games. I, I showed this to Chris, and uh, the first thing she asked or said was, "It looks like he's pooping." He is. Or, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if, if you've uh, been following the, the internet post, um, then you know that from ADHD, uh, that hedgehogs poop a lot mm-hmm. when they run, um, which is probably why they run so slow. <laughs> but I, I feel like they missed an opportunity to name him Mr. Needle Mr. Needle Nose. Um, so. You just mean. Uh, a, a two-tailed fox now to yeah. be his best friend. Right. And uh, in kinetic and climb. Yep. Uh, last but not least, uh, because it's a popular thing to do, it seems, a, uh, a mashup of Super Mario Brothers and Game of Thrones intro was created. Watch this. Um, a minute and 43 seconds long. It's probably the greatest one they've, that has been done yet. Um, while I like the Legend of Zelda one, this one has uh, a better quality to it. Mm-hmm. Um, eat to the point where even the, the intro credits are just <laughs> names of Mario characters. Yeah, I, I love that they put the Rhino in there. Yeah, so I mean, Rhino. Uh, it, it's all uh, extremely well done. Uh, so check it out if you're a fan. Um, and that's all I have for you this week in video game theme things from around the internet. Nah, 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 nah. Back to you, Bobby. All right. Uh, it's time to go to uh, be aware of some things. All right. Uh, the most Japanese game that ever Japanese <laughs> was previewed at E3. I don't know. We, we might have missed this one. Um, but the, the creator of Katamari Damacy has a new game coming out. Oh, no. It's called Watam. I posted this today. W-A-T-T-A-M. Uh Explosions usually bring joy by destroying things. Bottom, the next trippy cute thing from the man who created Katamari Damacy has explosions that make people happy by making things, by making, or by making things. Uh, in true Takahashi fashion, it's a physics-centric game that has players collecting a bunch of wacky personas after the Earth explodes, uh, so you can explode them again in a good way. <laughs> the good kind of explosion happens when the mayor, a lonely character who's uh, detonations spawn new chunks of obliterated planet back to the game world. Uh, you'll have to do things like mow grass or shake trees to reveal new characters, uh, flowers that can stretch or that can stretch or walking talking apples that come into the game with each explosion. Players could switch to controlling any of the oddly shaped folks that pop into the world, making it so that anyone can use the mayor's explosive ability. Uh, my question for you guys is: This to Japan or not Japan enough? It's Japan Fallout. <laughs> it is basically. It's. it's, it's <sighs> wow. <laughs> that is that is very Japanese. Yeah, and uh, um, they were talking about pooping in the article. Of course they are. But yeah. then they never. I guess the mayor can poop new characters <laughs> after he eats things. Have you not I, seen any <laughs> videos coming from? Japan, or so I've heard. To be honest, I, I as to, to be honest, as a fan of Katamari Damachi, this sounds wonderful. Mm-hmm. It does. 
It does. I, it looks good, I too. It looks like exactly like it. I think it's just Japanese. What? <laughs> Like it, no, it, I mean he asked if it was if it's too much, too Japanese, yeah, not yeah, Japanese. He asked if it was too Japanese or uh, not Japanese enough. I think it's just Japanese, just right. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is. This porridge is just right. Right. <laughs> I think I think we can clearly say Japan is the world's Florida. <laughs> All the weird yeah. things happen yeah. in Japan, but we love Japan. Japan's yeah, we love it. The they love the games. Mm-hmm. Uh, unlike Florida, this is a good weird. <laughs> like I, I, you have to admit that while the stuff that comes out of J- Japan isn't exactly what we we are used to over here, mm-hmm. we kind of welcome it with open arms because we're gamers and we like crazy shit like that. Right. Yep, so just like Old Spice commercials, yeah. we welcome weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Our next story. Batman Arkham Knight came out today, guys. Yay! Uh, on, consoles, like on consoles and PC. <laughs> uh, but only the PC version is having uh, some problems getting going. Uh, a statement released this morning, the game's community manager, ha- manager had this to say. Hi, all. We're aware that some of the users are reporting performance issues uh, with the PC version of Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, this is something that Rocksteady takes very seriously. We are working closely with our external PC development partner to make sure these issues get resolved as quickly as possible. Uh, some of the problems with the game on PC were the Batmobile sequences, of which there are many, <laughs> caused the frame rate to tank. Uh, the frame rate is locked to 30 frames per second unless you modify the INI file. No idea what that is. Uh, there's constant stuttering, which makes playing incredibly difficult. Uh, when attempting to verify the game's cache, sometimes it ends up deleting the game. Um, so yeah, basically, if you have Batman on PC, we're sorry. If you have Batman on consoles, good for you. Now, here's um, my question. Okay. If the only version of this game is tanking, mm-hmm. is the PC... Is it still a PC master race? I don't mm. know. That's a good question. Well, um, no, no. Well, I think it has something to do with Warner Brothers because if you remember correctly, or if you remember, they had problems with Mortal Kombat 10. Like they had tons of bugs when it launched. L- listen, this is this is. Um, we can talk about PC master race or whatever the case may be, uh, but the, the problem is you. The problem we've always had with PC is it gets out in the wild. It's probably the last thought of port of the three of them because just more people are going to buy it on consoles, period. Um, and and it gets out there and you have more than just two boxes to worry about. It's just like mm-hmm. anything else. It's just like things on Android, just like anything PC. There's just too many configurations and it just explodes because they're not putting enough resources into it. So... And, and, it's, guys, and I think it's more difficult when you talk about a game that's this high level mm-hmm. and what configurations of hardware, especially high-end graphics stuff, that it's going to work with. Um, and, and, I mean, how many times did Assassin's Creed have problems? Was it was on the PC that yeah. Assassin's Creed no, that had problems? On 360. Yeah, no, I, I mean, on Xbox One. I mean, just because it's not a closed environment, yeah, I think it just... Mm-hmm. This, on every console. This is going to happen. I don't know why it's still a huge, huge, huge story other than it's a huge game. You know, so do you, do you think they should play the PC version or do you think they should? It's too late. Do you now. Think they knew about it? Well, no, I think I, I think a lot of cases, a lot of cases they do. In a lot of cases, you see PC yeah. releases of several months after Assassin's Creed, I think, did it for several iterations. They just um, patched the hell out of everything GTA, now. they just need more time to test. I mean, when you're doing, say, GTA, and you're like, this is going on the Xbox 360, period. I, I think mm-hmm. they're PS4 as well. It just, um, it's easier for them to test for. Is even make sure this works. Everybody that has this thing is going to work, and we're good, right? So. Okay, I just uh, want to make I just want to make this joke. Okay, I blame Bebop. <laughs> oh, uh, very good, Riz. Very good. Um, <laughs> uh, th- uh, <laughs> another th- another thing, another thing about this was they had to pull the one, one premium edition because the quality of the Batmobile wasn't very good. <laughs> And then, now they re-released the limited edition with a Batman figure now instead of the Batmobile. Because it probably looks better, I guess. But yeah. Uh, but seriously, the, 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 the piece, saying it's a PC Master Race is kind of weird because they have all of the games. 
Mm-hmm. Most of the games. Most of the games. Mm-hmm. Most of the games besides Nintendo. Uh, but you have... It, so th- this is just another hiccup in I'm just getting also, console games, guys. It'll be fixed also, by, like, next also, week. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, it'll be it'll What be were the problems? Soon. Where were all the problems that went for the, with the PC version? Uh, it just crashed when there were Batmobile segments. Uh, there was 30, oh, there was oh I've never had a game crash second. on me before. Jeez. It deleted the game, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, before. that's a problem. Yeah. That's a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um... I think oh. you instantly backtracked. Oh, oh. Well, like, no, that's not a problem. I've had an Xbox freeze, but I didn't have an Xbox then recursively destroy everything destroy on the hard the drive. Yes. Yeah. It, the the game, if you bought if you bought the uh, packaged edi- edition, the game disc actually caught fire <laughs> in your hands. <laughs> wow. So don't uh, don't play this okay. game in front of children because they the that's disc how, will. That's how bad out. the piece. <laughs> the disc was replaced right. with a razor blade for some reason. Anyways, Steam came out of your computer from Steam when you bought it on Steam. Uh, all right, that was a step too far. Steam uh, bought yeah, everything yeah. on the Steam yeah, sale. Great, great job, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, moving on. Um. Oh, about, by the way, if you're wondering, on Polygon, the uh, Batman Arkham Knight got a ten out of ten. So of course, it did. yeah. Um. The Oblox is coming out from China. It's um. It sounds at, like a sex toy body. Yeah. At E3 last week, mobile tech and entertainment company Snail Games uh, showed a new Android-based game console called Obox, or Online Box. <laughs> Unlike many uh, Android consoles, Obox isn't designed primarily for streaming and allows players to download games to the hardware. It can output games at 4K resolution, guys, hmm. which that's pretty impressive. Uh, Snail also d- designed the new console to be upgradable. So if somebody wants to swap out their processor down the line, they can drop in, the, in that piece rather than purchase a new console. Hmm. Uh, Snail is aiming to release the O-Box in China soon, with a U.S. release planned the first half of 2016. Uh, the company has yet to announce a price for the hardware. Uh, my question to you guys is, will the O-Box have any of the market share in America, or is it too soon to tell? Nope. You don't think? Well, first of all, this, this reminds me of... Uh, I don't. I, I don't know if you guys do remember these, but the one or the the sixty four games in one console craze that, that gonna like have big everybody prices. had. I, I think Android is that thing now. It's like, hey, we're we're gonna have games played on and we're gonna have Android games played on a console so that you can cash. stream online. There's a cat name on it. It's sold on me. Uh, it, it all comes as always with this type of thing. It comes down to one, one, one thing. Yes. How much is it going to cost me? Yeah. If that price point is perfect, yeah, it'll it, get a market share. It looks like a PC tower. If you've seen a picture of it, it's like a giant PC green box. Well, and here's the thing, though. It, it all goes back to price. And, mm-hmm. I mean, that's the only thing that's going to determine whether or not this is successful in the United States. Yeah. If the mm-hmm. price is right, it'll sell. If dun, not, dun, dun. it'll go the way the Ouya. I, I mean, <laughs> where's the Ouya at? Actually, Ouya uh, just got purchased by somebody. I can't remember. Amazon, maybe? Or, or maybe. Or Sony. Roku? Did somebody Is buy it Sony? It? No. They bought it online. Somebody Sony. bought it that uh, somebody bought it that has their own uh, set top box, so they'll probably integrate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so look at being part of like say Roku. But I mean that got really Amazon? eaten up. How many people have an Amazon TV stick? Like yeah. I picked that thing up for like thirty bucks and I can play games on it. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that has replaced an Ouya. Like Ouya was the early adapter, uh, early adopter, just like OnLive was. And look how much stuff we're streaming online, like OnLive promised on our PlayStation 4s. Um, it was just too early. And I, I, I'm still kind of figuring out what this O-Box is about. But yeah, it's it's just going to be another one of those weird things that gets bought and integrated in something we're all going to mm-hmm. buy in five years. So. Comes to price. What's that? And yeah, it's price. It's price. This is an early are, adopter product, and this is somebody trying to get a concept out there in front of people, and hopefully get bought by somebody. Are, are, are we going to buy this in five years, sir? 
I'm still trying to figure out the purpose of it. I think we're I think we're already buying again, this. Again, the O box is very misleading. So it's an Android. So basically, it's like an Ouya, but a more powerful Ouya. But it doesn't stream games. Nvidia Sh- Nvidia Shield eats this get this thing's lunch as it is. Now is this? Um, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm catching up. But uh, is this? So this is about the Chinese console market. Market. Oh, mm-hmm. that's where you're going to win. They're going to do fine in the Chinese market. Well, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're going to dominate China. Yeah, they're not. It, it's going to be probably cheaper than anything else, uh, Xbox or whatever mm-hmm. else. I don't even know what else is out there right well, now because consoles just became legal to right. be sell in China. Right, right. So I mean, they're kind of jumping in at the right time. I well, think, yeah, <laughs> no the chance, only time to jump in. Right, right. No chance, no chance in the USA. We have stuff that does this a lot better by a lot bigger and more established people. And uh, but no, it's 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 going to well, help. No, I, first sure. off, let me just state that they had they had consoles in China. They were just specifically made Chinese consoles. Mm-hmm. Right. So this this device, being a Chinese device, already has pr- approval and mm-hmm. head up a heads up on all the rest of the market because it's approved by the Chinese government. Mm-hmm. And kudos so, to them for trying to break into America too with it. Right. Yeah. You know? that's, 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 where they get, that's where they get ahead, mm-hmm. and ultimately where they're going to fail because mm-hmm. Ouya has proven that this isn't necessary. Nobody wants this. If, if they so, make it in China, they'll do just fine. That's a big market. Right, so. right. and that's what I'm saying. They, mm. They'll do fine overseas. Yeah. But, I mean, and they're not going to lose their lunch trying to come to the United States. I mean, it's just going to be a failed attempt. They'll it'll, still be, have, it'll be that thing well, we buy because we want those weird Chinese imports. Whatever that <laughs> no ends up way. being. Yeah. No way. I, I learned my lesson with Chinese imports. I'll never do that again. <laughs> Somebody write that down. That's a quote of the night right there. All right. Well, speaking of lunch and O boxes, Sorg, what? you want to tell us about some pizza that brings? What? Oh what yeah, slice on Broadway. <laughs> they hooked Ow. us up tonight. Um, I don't, I don't understand the translation uh, transition at all, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, they hooked us up. To, we 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 actually talk somebody into coming in and co-hosting a show tonight <laughs> for wrestling ma'am show based on pizza uh it, joining us here hello hi chris uh uh but no they hooked us up um there was supporting pittsburgh podcasting with great pepperoni pizza and this week a little bit more check them out at sliceonbroadway.com here in the beachview neighborhood in pittsburgh pa as well as carnegie pa right off the exit on the way or on your way into town from the airport uh so uh yeah check them out check them out on social media pgh underscore slice on twitter uh slice on broadway on the instagram and facebook and slice on broadway.com bobby all right uh e3 was last week and uh people are still buzzing about two things from the earth from uh e3 uh the hololens and project morpheus hololens is a self-contained piece of equipment that paints the world around you with what appears to be holograms now the 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 demo that they showed it at e3 was a little misleading um, the, vi- the, the vision, what, I'm, what I'm, the I'm one, the one they put on the camera, Yeah, the one that was the whole screen, yeah. you could see everything. The, that the was just the camera, the camera, was. Yeah. Just the camera and it wasn't really a, yeah, yeah. but it still works as it, as it intends to work. It's just the field of vision is smaller than what they were putting out there. That's not to say it's still awesome. Everybody was still oh, no. like, bragging about it, you know, mm-hmm. and going on about it. Um, but you know, it's it's a thing. It's a wave of the future. Um, a lot of people think it's the next big thing in video games. Um, some of the projects need refinement. Um, but it, it, what was shown at E3 is not going to be the final version of it. They're they're still working on it. It's it's still years away on consoles, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but it's it's cool to see that companies are do- doing the VR route. Uh, Sony has uh, more Project Morpheus, like we said. Uh, Microsoft has Oculus and HoloLens. Uh, PCs are going to have Oculus. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys think that the, – the, this is the final battle question this week. Do you guys think that VR slash – or virtual reality or augmented reality, is it the wave of the future? Or is it just another fad like 3D TVs or HD DVD was? What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? I'm with Nintendo on this. 
Um, it is not the wave of the future. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a uh, yeah exactly. Yeah. The, this exactly is going it. to be a, a a really cool stop mm -hmm. on the path to the next thing in gaming. Like this is going to be a great story later on, mm -hmm. but it, it's just a, a, a pit stop. Uh, on the highway to where gaming is going. <laughs> Remember, it, I, I, I totally agree with what Jati says. This is just another step. Like, you, you saw that with motion censoring yeah. and how fun that was. Yeah, yeah. And then... Everybody saw Kinect was going to be the next one. And then the thing. Kinect was, came out, <laughs> and then PlayStation and the moves, came and out the as well, <laughs> and the move, and everything else to that. It just seemed like that was going to be the wave of the future. And mm -hmm. now we have virtual reality coming in. And now that's the wave of the future. So it's not saying I, – I don't think it's going to be as big. It's, I mean it's going to be as – it's going to be popular mm -hmm. for other I think people. it's going to be expensive for a while. For, yeah, it, for, a lot, for, yeah. for a whole bunch of people. Your average gamer will not have virtual reality. Mm -hmm. Dave and Busters is what's going to – Lead to, but you go to Dave and Buster's it, and, and I'm take it virtually. I'm happy with what I have right now. Mm -hmm. I don't need augmented reality to know <laughs> I'm in. I'm playing a video game. Like somebody said, I just want to sit in a chair, yeah, holding what? a controller and playing a video game like I used to when I was a kid. I mean, like this, like what I have right here and what I'm sitting on right now, and my TV's right over there. So I'm good. I'm set. Maybe but, using a power glove. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. Working power. Okay. Working power. Here, here's 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 what I think. Suit. The U force. Or rob the robot. I think we're <laughs> past the point that this is just a gimmick. I mm. think that we had our yeah, it's the Dave and Buster's thing that we do. It's the battle text that you sit in at the uh, out there and everything. We're past that point. I think the VR opportunities now are the realest opportunities. No, not every, it, kind of like the Ouya discussion. This isn't the thing that we're going to have next year. This is the thing that will be more accessible and probably more readily available in five years if it works, if it takes off, if they solved all the problems. And that's where, and you, you see a couple different ways they're attacking these problems down to Google VR cardboard, for instance, right? I, I don't have to get into that here. Uh, or HoloLens being a whole different sort of experience and having different applications. That's going to be more than just gaming for, for, for one, one case. Um, they're, they're looking at some productivity and some other kind of interactive experiences. I think just like, you know, Google Glass wasn't ready for prime time. Um, and even the Kinect was a stopgap to what is coming with VR and HoloLens. Um, I don't think this will be regularly used by any of us for 10 years. Still. Yeah. Still. I think it's next gen. I think, yeah, it is the, well, not everybody can afford to get an next I don't think it's going to be next gen. Mm, I think they'll get it I think, I think that I think, I think as real as this opportunity is for this technology, I think, mm -hmm. and I think 10 years is, is me playing it safe. We didn't think Connect was going to be as, like, ready no. by next <laughs> is it right. ready? Right. Well, I, I have it. I have Connect, like you guys know, and I think it works fine. It the voice activation on it works perfectly. Bobby, we part. can't. From, not perfectly. Bobby, Xbox on. Hey, Bobby. I'm not near my Xbox. So. Hey, Bobby. And I've headphones on. Yes. I, I have a question for you. Okay. What's the last Connect game you played? Um, the one that came that uh, was free. P uh, four and. When did you play it? About two months ago. Exactly. Two <laughs> months ago? So, so, Once? Tell, so <laughs> tell me the Kinect is doing fine. Yeah, that, that's what I don't get. The Kinect... I, I, it's not so much for gaming as more of a convenience for me. That's oh. a that's a chilla chilla on awesome cast. He always says is like I just for that microphone and be able to say yeah. Xbox do this. I mean Xbox that Cinema? that is killer. It, it Connect does a Connect doesn't win for the motion capture that it was sold on. Yeah. It 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 wins for giving you Siri in your wow well, my flashlight's on. Um, Actually, well, no, Siri on your on your see, console. Here, here's never, where I disagree with that. Mm -hmm. I never got to meet that kid by the pond. PlayStation owned. Thanks, Peter Molyneux. Just because 
a feature of the device works mm -hmm. does not mean that the, that device is doing well. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, I, I agree. No, the, the device is doing horribly um, uh, in yeah. general. It yeah. is not being supported, but they, they it brought, support, there is a yes. small feature it brought that changes the experience for some people. And, and I, which I so, think we, we, we talked about tell. will be remedied if they just put a microphone in your Xbox or on your controller, or whatever right, the yeah, case may be. Yeah. They're going to so, be putting Cortana so in the there. Sega Saturn or Atari Jaguar, were, were they, were they a success? No. Okay then. C Man was a success. You tell that to C Man's face. That's right. You yeah, tell it. You, you tell it. You say the C Man. Okay, C Man. I I, <laughs> I I wanted to get the Sega. Uh, I had a Dreamcast just so I can play C Man. Wow. Yeah, you did. Yeah, wow. you did. All right. Yeah. yeah. Say it <laughs> on that note. Face. On that say it note. Seaman's face. That's gonna do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at eight o'clock on Live.Sorgatron.Media.com. A uh, special thanks to Mike what? Allen at Mike Allen PR for supplying nope. us with the notes and the tweets all night. Uh, Sorg, you have anything to plug? Um. No, no, not at the moment. I'm just kind of absorbing things. There's there's, there's the shows, shows and such. Awesomecast.net, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, SorgatronMedia.com. So much geekery going on. If you like technology, mm -hmm. wrestling, social media, etc., talking about those things, please drop by. Chachi, you have something that's Chachi coming up that you want to play. The only thing you should be thinking about is ChachiPlays.com. You mean like that? Mm -hmm. You mean like this, Chachi? Go donate. Yes, like that. You can go over to ChachiPlays.com, hit that donate button, and help us reach our very, very easy, easily obtained goal. I already did. Yes, you should, Ritz, you should put a donut button up for breakfast. We did this last year, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I think we did. Yes. And the year before that. Donut button. Yes. Anything else to plug? No, that's it. ChachiPlays.com. All right, Riz, got something to plug? Besides Chachi Plays, uh... Stick. Stay tuned to uh, Riz Plays Games. I will do a little bit of bit more of uh, of EA's FIFA 15, and also I'm going to be discussing uh, what I think EA should do. Cool. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. All right, and you can follow me at, at Bobby F J Town. Got an article up on InsertCoinToBegin.com about my thoughts on E3, and that's going to do it for us. Game over, everybody. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.